Hello. Wuthering Heights is the only novel of Emily Bronte. It was published in 1847. In the brief, Wuthering Heights is the story of two families and an outsider. Again, Wuthering Heights is the story of two families and an outsider. So we have the family of, of uh, we have uh, ancient family who live in Wuthering Heights. The second family is Linton family who live in Thrushcross Grange. And the distance between the two areas is about four miles, okay? And we have an outsider who is called Heathcliff. One day, Mr. Earnshaw comes back from Liverpool, uh, bringing with him uh, a homeless gypsy boy who is named later Heathcliff. Heathcliff will be one of the members of Earnshaw family. Uh, Mr. Earnshaw loves him and he regards him as one of his family. <clears throat> but after the death of Mr. Earnshaw, Hindley will be the master of Wuthering Heights. He hates Heathcliff a lot, and as a result, he is going to mistreat. He is going to uh, mistreat uh, Heathcliff, and uh, regards him just like just a servant. Okay. At the same time, a very strong love relationship will start between Heathcliff and Catherine. It is a very strong. It is a kind of a very strong love. Okay. They spend most of the time together, playing and roaming in the wilderness. But when Catherine is introduced to Edgar, the son of Linton uh, family, she falls in his love, uh, and it is a kind of a superficial love, unlike the love uh, relationship between Catherine and Heathcliff, which was very uh, a very strong one. Okay? She loves him because uh, he was handsome, uh, educated, and wealthy. But when Heathcliff discovers that uh, Catherine is, is, is going to, to marry Edgar, he leaves Wuthering Heights for three years. And he will come back after three years. Uh, now Heathcliff is educated, wealthy, and he looks just like a gentleman. We can say that he fulfilled his uh, uh, negative points or his weak points, okay? Now Heathcliff, he has just one goal, which is revenge. He wants to destroy the two families. When he comes back to Wuthering Heights, first of all, he starts a relationship with Isabella, Edgar's sister, in order to destroy Edgar and annoy Catherine. Isabella, at first, she falls in his love, and it, it is a kind uh, of a one side love. And then she runs away with Heathcliff and buries him. But after a while, uh, Isabella will discover that Heathcliff is a bad man. As a result, she is going to run away to London, and there in London, she gives the birth of Linton. So Linton is the son of Isabella and Heathcliff. Okay? And when he comes back, when Heathcliff comes back to, to uh, Wuthering Heights, now Catherine, she has to choose between Edgar and, uh, and Heathcliff. Okay, she, she has to, cho to choose between them. And uh, she suffers of a kind of a mental, or it's a kind of inner struggle. She has to, to choose between them. And she fails to choose uh, any of them. Okay? Uh, as a result, she falls ill. And she uh, she dies when she gives the birth of uh, when she gives the birth of uh, her daughter Kathy. Okay. In order to fulfill his revenge, Heathcliff now he has to uh, Heathcliff now he has to uh, to revenge of Hindley. Now Hindley he is depressed, miserable, as a result of his uh, his wife's death. And he addicts to drinking and uh, gambling. Okay, Heathcliff uh, encourages him to do that. To do that, he lends him money, 
and at the end of uh, and at the end Hindley is going to die and Heathcliff will be the master of Withering Heights okay yes now, now after some years Heathcliff pushed Linton his son towards young Cathy in order to, to get in order to get the property of Thrush Cross Grange okay at, the, at first, there is a kind of love relationship between Linton and young Cathy, but it is a kind of a motherly, a motherly love relationship from the side of Cathy because Linton is unlike his father. He was feeble, weak, and, and complaining. And after a while, they will get married. And after a while, Linton will die. Now, Another love relationship will start between young Cathy and Harriton. Harriton is the son of Hindley and Francis. Uh, and, after, and at the end of the novel, there is a kind of a partial poetic justice when Heathcliff dies. And the two families, at the end of the novel, they will reunite again when Cathy and Harriton uh, get married. Okay? This was a very short summary of Wuthering Heights. The whole story is narrated by two characters. We have the character of Mr. Lookwood and Neil Edith. Okay? Mr. Lookwood is the tenant of Thrush Cross Grange. He tells us the story. Whereas Neil Edith is the housekeeper of Wuthering Heights, she gives us uh, she gives us the whole story of the two families. Thank you very much for watching. Assalamu alaikum.